there were like two months where I wasn't quite making ends meet and I was just sapping from my savings. But after that, everything's been good. But yeah, it took me many, many years. Like I would say getting from zero subscribers to like 10K subscribers easily took well over a year. I don't have the I don't have the stats of how, exactly how long it takes, but it took a really long time. To make to make something out of nothing is really hard. And so then I started streaming on Twitch after I had been doing YouTube for years. And so a bunch of people already knew about me, so that helps. Do I think I have enough fighters knowledge to become a commentator once tournaments exist again? Uh, to be honest, probably not. Like, if it was not, like, a big thing, if it was, like, a local or, like, a tournament where it's not, like, something where a bunch is on the line, like an exhibition or, like, whatever, then sure, I would happily do it. But if it's for, like, a real thing, like a, a major or something, I wouldn't really feel comfortable. Because there are people who are way, way more qualified and better at it than me. Um, but yeah. Have I thought about hosting an online invitational during quarantine? I've thought about it, but the specifics of it are kind of disturbing to me. And <laughs> I don't really want to do it. it. sounds like a lot of work. A lot of potential for stuff, annoying stuff to go wrong. And I want to do something, you know. I want to give you guys something to to interact with at some point here but I haven't figured out exactly what right now I'm just focusing on making videos and I have some good ones coming so keep an eye out Ooh, we got the side switch all right what do you guys say we go for that cross up we haven't done it yet It worked. It worked. Was that dirty or what? <laughs> I'm glad we laughed that out. I'm real glad we laughed that out. Damn. <laughs> All right. You know, honestly, for a second there, I was like, wait, am I in training mode? <laughs> I'm so used to uh, this music and stuff being for training mode. Uh-oh, okay, he's in there. Nice. I like that uh, Kefla assist, or not Kefla. <laughs> that Videl assist. Yeah, after image plus Yamcha. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, man. Like, the fake cross up and stuff. You can do some dirt with After Image plus Yamcha. That is probably the next thing I should work on. I'm gonna make a note next time I play this game. That's right, Mondo Hey, Joker715, thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Dude, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna be saying on a first date, man. I'm gonna be on a first date being like, being like, hey, welcome to the date. Glad to have you. Thanks so much for picking up the tab. <laughs> oh, he knew, but Kefla. Wow, nice. Looking good, Gohan. I feel like this happens a lot. Like, every time I beat someone higher ranked than me... Every time I beat someone higher ranked than me, uh, they end up coming back, like, way stronger and murdering me. Alright, we got meaties. I'm gonna save my meter for now. Nice. Nice. 
Ooh, that was dirty, the low. I was blocking high. Yeah, I think he's got me here. All right, all right, 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, sir. Yeah, the uh, the World Tournament Arena is like the SF4 white room. Yeah, it kind of is. That's why I'm really glad that Marvel, Ultimate Marvel, they have Bone Wonderland. So you don't have to play on training stage. It was so funny when we did J Emperdy with Cloud. There was a Marvel 3 stage on there and he didn't recognize it because every Marvel match happens on uh happens on Bone Wonderland. No one knows any of the other stages. <laughs> I found that hilarious. Cuz it's true. E every match is on Bone Wonderland. I guess Summer Danger Room, that's true. I personally I prefer Bone Wonderland to Danger Room. I just think it looks nicer. I like the the lighter setting versus the dark setting. That was a nice combo, by the way. Oh, she's going all out, but he dropped. <laughs> that was sick. This guy's team is really cool, by the way. I need to focus more on the match, man. Yeah, the reason why everyone played on like two stages is because uh, on the PS3 version of Marvel 3, some stages cause frame drops and lag. There are also some stages that it's really hard to see stuff on, like the, the Arthur stage where you ride the raft. It's really hard to see stuff because it's so dark. Um. Yeah, Bone Bone Wonderland was just kind of the best of both worlds in terms of being a stage where everything's really clear and there's not much happening, so there's no lag. Can you share Marvel 2 cable artwork in here? I would prefer if you, like, tweeted at me or something. Links on Twitch are kind of scary. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm so lucky I didn't get... Oh, okay. All right. Listen, we've made impossible... We've made impossible comebacks before. Nice, dude. He had to have wanted that, right? I'm just going to spark up. Nice! The confirm from full screen! Ooh. Tried stealing a turn, but I was just too late. Ooh. Uh, are you guys seeing this? You know what's funny is I you guys could feel that I paused there. I was pausing to OS against DP. I I, I was doing it delayed in case she did wake up DP. I didn't think about wake up counter. Did not think about that. Nice. Okay, one to two. That was close. I just wanted to kill her real fast and then bring in Janemba. Maybe I should have gone for raw throw, but throw was scary because I was like, what if she DPs? Oh, he jumped out. What a god. Woo! That was sick. Yo, the heat turn up is so real. It's so real. What? Do people let me have one for fun? Just so that... Oh, I blocked high. 
Do people let me have one for the content? And then they take the next three? Oh my god, that was so clean. That mix-up was so clean. First fighting game I ever played was probably Street Fighter 2 on Genesis. Oh, he almost had a confirm there. I had no plan there. Ooh. Sometimes things just work out. All right, go ahead and delay wake up. I'm just going to level 3 cuz I don't want to I don't want to bring Yamcha in prematurely. Can't decide if you like Grand Blue, Under Knight, DD Fighters, or KI more. I mean, those are some pretty good games, man. Definitely, like, Grand Blue and Under Knight both appeal to me on a personal level a lot. I think they're both really, really fun. I would like to play more Under Knight. It's, it's just, again, there's so many games out right now, and also Under Knight is slightly harder to find matches in than a game like Fighters or Grand Blue. Nice, dude. This guy's making better use of Janemba assist than definitely anyone I've ever seen. Yeah, Under Knight's, it's a really, really fun game. He didn't expect the random air dash decided it's time for some offense. All right, we're gonna throw this time. There, perfect. All part of the plan. God, Z Factor is so strong, man. I'm just amazed at how much damage everything does. You got King of Fighters 13 and it's hard? Yes, that game is very hard. I know, like, everybody says, like, every old or obscure fighting game, not obscure, but, like, every niche fighting game that isn't, like, super mainstream, everybody, it's like a meme. It's like, well, if you think that Marvel combos are hard. Just wait till you try this game because it's ten times harder. Everyone says that about every game. But for KOF 13, it's actually true. KOF 13 is intensely hard. The thing is, like, it's not that hard to pick up and play the game. You can get by with, with the basics pretty decently, but the combos in that game are unreal difficulty. You guys see that? You guys see the projectile counter? Did you guys, you guys see the, the projectile counter? He, got, he, he counted the... He counted the combo out! He countered it! Did you guys see? That's not good. I guess we got got. One to three. Whew! GG's, man. That's... That pink Janemba, man. That pink Janemba. Powerful stuff. <laughs> he just screamed. <laughs> Good stuff, man. GG's.